this. So is $15 a good deal for this? That's the question of the whole video, in my opinion. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, this video, we're gonna take a look at these tearaway microfiber towels from AutoDrive. You can buy from Walmart, and it's basically 21 cents a towel. Let's find out if they're any good. Let's do it. All right, guys, so before we get this video started, if you like videos like this, product review videos, detailing videos, ceramic coating videos, uh, paint correction videos, stuff like that, that stuff interests you, take a moment, go down below, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on the bell, turn on all notifications, so every time I upload a video, you do get notified. So I was at Walmart the other day, you guys, and maybe I've overlooked this for a little while because it does say 2021 Walmart um, on the package. So it, maybe it's been out for a while, maybe I've just overlooked it, because every time I go to Walmart, I just look at the detail and I'll see what's new, and they have a bunch of brand new stuff um, on the shelves in the detailing aisle at Walmart in case you haven't been there in a while and you want to go check it out. Um, but maybe they just started stocking it at our Walmart. I don't know because I know Walmart, they stock their shelves based on the area in which the Walmart's in. Um, they know the area, they stock it and what they know sells. So maybe they just started putting this on the shelf. I don't know, but I've never seen it before. And I saw it and I was like, hang on a second, $14.97 for 75 towels. That's that's a no brainer if they're any good. Um, by the time it was all said and done, we have a 7% sales tax here in, the, in Indiana. 1602 is what I paid. That makes them about 21 cents a towel. Um, they do come on a roll, so you can put them on a paper towel holder if you want to. Um, the only thing I don't really care about as far as packaging is the ends are open. So when they're sitting on a shelf like this, you're gonna get dirt and stuff built up on the edge of the towels. Is that being is that is that a big deal? Probably not. Being a little bit nitpicky, but um, it's just something that I don't really care for. Um, it does say that you can wash and reuse these up to 50 times. I doubt that's true, but and we're not gonna find out. Um, Ten times more absorbent than paper towels. Ideal for home and auto. It shows showing glass, wheels, um, instrument clusters, uh, your sink, your tables, all that stuff. You guys around the house. Um, it is 87% polyester, 13% polyamide. Most of my towels I use are 80-20, uh, so it's pretty close, um, not terrible. But I just saw it and I was like, this looks like a really good deal if these are worth anything at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna unpackage these. Um, we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna see what one individual towel looks like. We'll see how it rips off. I'm not sure, because it says tear away. Um, and just basically go from there, you guys. So let's go ahead and open this up. I've been looking forward to making this video and opening this thing. It's been sitting on my shelf for a couple days. Let me get a pair of scissors here. I guess I should have cut it all the way down. Okay. Here we go. First impressions. Not bad, really. So you guys what they look like. They look like my utility towels that I use for polish removal, wax removal, and stuff like that. Um, engine bay detailing, door jam, stuff like that. And, that's, and you know, I don't know if I'd use this on my paint. It feels soft, um, but I don't know if I'd use it on my paint, but I would probably definitely use it for engine bay detailing, cleaning the wheels like rinseless with my extra tough wheel and tire cleaner, uh, you guys, that I have on the website, which you can use rinseless, which is awesome. Um, and this would be a great towel for that because you don't care. You don't care if you get them dirty. You don't care if you have to throw them away when they're 21 cents a towel. So that's the cool thing. So let's go ahead and take this tape off. Oop, I already ripped just taking the tape off of it. Ripped pretty easy. Okay, so here's the first towel. Ripped right off, really simple. This is the first, first towel here. Um, they are 12 inch by 12 inch, which is a little bit smaller than what you'd normally like, but for it to fit on like a paper towel holder, they're all about 12 inches wide. So that makes sense why they're 12 inch by 12 inch. I can tell you it's already getting on my shirt. Let me show you guys. So stuff's already coming off of these. Um, but they don't feel terrible. I mean, I've I've had worse towels, that's for sure. But when you fold it up to like do wax remover or something like that, it's really small. But you know what? You get you're buying 75 towels for $15 basically. So you can't you really can't complain. Um, but you can see through them. I'll show you guys. I'm just noticing that because the my light's dead. I can actually see through 
you see that you can actually see through these pretty well so they're really really thin i can't imagine you can wash them up to 50 times and uh, get 50 uses out of them but that's what they say so what we're going to do in this video you guys we're going to test this on a few different things we'll test them on a little engine bay the engine bay on our journey which isn't filthy but it's like where i want to use something like this uh, door jams um, something like that anything that i can use it on i may try it on the glass I don't know if it's going to limp, but I can tell you there's stuff all over my shirt just from it touching my shirt. Um, but it may limp, but you won't know until we try it. So we're going to try it on the glass. We're not going to try on the paint because I really don't want to scratch the paint. So here's a comparison with them folded and forged. So you can see how much smaller this one is compared to the 16 by 16. And you can see the 16 by 16 is obviously taller. Also, it's a little bit thicker, but I thought that would be cool to kind of show you guys the comparison of the two side by side. So I just tore this towel off. I want to show you guys something. Where, the, where they tear, right here on the edge. You see how it's kind of shiny? That would scratch paint without a doubt because it's actually kind of jagged. Hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Here, I'll put it against my microphone. It's actually pulling that plastic, whatever it is that's holding these together. Right there, you guys can see that shiny stuff. That would definitely scratch the paint, so definitely be aware of that. That's why I will not touch the paint with these towels. So this is how it's held together. I'm trying to not get you guys a shadow on my camera. See how it's shiny? That's the part that I'm trying, I was trying to show you. Go all the way down that line. It's like plastic. Now when it comes to a video like this, it doesn't really show you much when it comes to towels. Um, what I'm using here, guys, is Jersey Devil, by the way. Works great on clean plastic. Leaves protection behind on it. But this is what these towels would be good for for me. Something like this. Wiping down. Or you know they're going to get filthy. It's never going to touch your paint. As you can see, plenty of dirt right there. But this is this is what I would use um, this type of towel for. And yes, the engine bay is pretty clean. That was kind of the dirtiest part right there. Because of everything coming underneath the grill. Just kind of coming up, the air coming up. Um, but I can... Go around and kind of touch everything up with it. Keep the engine bay nice and clean. Right, see where the cowling was it? Sorry if I'm messing up the microphone. You know, and that's about it. And see, got crap all over this towel. I can throw this away like I'm going to do right now. It doesn't bother me because it's it's cheap. That's what this those types of towels are designed for. Okay, you guys, so bug season is upon us. This has been sitting outside in the rain. Hasn't been garage cut much lately. Um, I need to clean the inside and the outside of the glass. We're just going to do the outside. What I'm looking for here to show you guys, there's no lint. We definitely have some bugs on here. I'm going to put you guys right here so you can watch me clean it. I will be using Diamond Clear, which is the best, in my opinion, window cleaner on the market. Now, this is not what the new bottles look like. This is the old bottle that I've been tested for a long time. Stuff is absolutely amazing. If you don't believe me, go and ask Carlos Serrano from Serrano's Mobile Detail on YouTube. Absolutely loves it. And he's in Texas using the direct sun. No problem at all. No streaking, flashes fast. Yes, I'm plugging a product that I sell on my website on this video. Now this does have Gion Quick View on it. Oh, it's definitely leaving stuff on the glass, you guys. Let me go to the drill, yeah. <laughs> well, test it on my own car for you guys. I don't need my light to show you this lint. All this lint up here. That's lint. That's not bug guts or anything. Bug guts are gone. That's lint that's left over on the glass. It's hard to show. In the video. All those little specks you're seeing, if you look at this light right here, that's all lint. So yeah, not really good for glass, even though it shows it on the uh, outside of the package. Now this right here, you guys, is where I think the towels would pay for themselves because I don't know about you guys, but I have the hardest time throwing towels away. Even when I get into ceramic coating, it's like, dang, this is a nice towel. I know it's going to harden, so I throw it away. 
Uh, my utility towels, if they get really, really bad, I throw them away. And I even have a hard time doing that because you know how expensive towels are, how much money you have in them. These really won't matter. So we're going to use on here the wheel and tire cleaner from Extra Tough. I have this on my website also, you guys. This has got my logo on it, but it's from Extra Tough. And it is a rinseless wheel and tire cleaner. You can clean the tires with it. You can clean the wheels with it. We're just going to clean the wheels, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I might just do all of it. But this is where it won't matter to me how dirty these towels get. Because as you can see, they're going to be dirty. Sorry, I just got done sneezing. Now my nose is running. Okay, so as you can see, there's dirt on my towel. I'm not going to throw it away because I can still wash that. It's not bad. And I'll take a dry one behind it. And bam, we're ready to go. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the tire. I'll show you guys how well this stuff works. Let's go ahead and show you. It's not filthy, but it's not a very good black color, I guess I should say. Sorry, you're seeing my shadow from my light that I have to light this up. I do want to get it off of my wheels. I do not want to dry my wheels. Okay, so then all we're going to do, I'm just going to spray a little bit into my brush. I'm just going to brush it easy. Okay, that's all it takes. You just can come in, you're going to wipe it clean. You can get all the stuff off of the tire, all the gunk that you just brushed. And this is what these towels would be perfect for. Jobs like these. One more time. Make sure I get it all off of there. And see, you see how dirty these towels are? That's what's going to happen. I mean, these are, I kind of ma maintain my wheels and tires the best I can, but these aren't really, really hammered, and that's how dirty my towels got. So these are going to trash. Now, look at how nice that tire looks. It is now black. It looks really good. It's ready for a tire shine. The wheel looks good. Yeah, this is where this towel is going to be awesome. I always have to have a drink of my Pepsi when I get done cleaning the car. All right, you guys, so what did you think? Is this worth $15 to you guys? You guys let me know down in the comment section of the video. I would uh, love to read your guys' comments, see what you guys think about the towels. Um, also, if you guys have not tried this yet, I do sell this on my website. This is Extra Tough's new wheel and tire cleaner. You can use rinseless, which is what I use in the video. The stuff is absolutely fantastic, especially if you're somewhere you can't use water, uh, apartments, something like that, the tires look absolutely amazing when you get done. cleans the wheels up nicely. Uh, definitely recommend um, that product right there, you guys. But back to the towels. Uh, these towels, um, in my opinion, are they worth $15? In my opinion, yes, because you can clean anything that you would want to do utility type that you don't care if you pitch the towels, you don't care how dirty your towels get. Engine bays, wheels, tires, exhaust tips, uh, lower rockers, anything that you really don't care about. Also, you could probably use it on your dashboard just fine. Um, I don't think that would be an issue at all. Just don't use it on the paint because I showed you like that plastic where it tears off because that is going to scratch your paint for sure. Now, when I clean the wheels with it, I don't know if you noticed in the video, but I had it to where those edges shouldn't have touched, I'm hoping. Um, so it's not scratching the wheels when I do the wheels. Obviously on the tires, it, it's not really gonna matter. Uh, engine bay, it's not really gonna matter. Um, but for 21 cents a towel, if you have to throw it away, which I threw five of them away already, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Uh, that's still less than what I pay for any other towel that I would buy, that I would use at any other time that I throw away. I have a cabinet full of utility towels. That's what this whole cabinet is right here. So by having it on a roll, I can hang this on the wall and I can free up some space in the cabinet. Now, are these great towels? No, they are not great towels at all. Um, they are okay towels. They do what you need them to do. You can clean your countertops in your house with them though, um, your appliances with it. Uh, stuff like that, but they do lint. I would not clean your glass, especially in your car and your house. You really probably wouldn't notice it too much on your car. I wouldn't do it because when the sun hits it, you're going to see all those little pieces of lint around the glass. 
Um, but other than that, I would say, yes, it's worth 21 cents a towel, $15 for 75 towels. Um, you can hang them up, get them out, off, out of the way, get them out of a cabinet, tear it off, use it, throw it away if you want to, wash it up to 50 times, supposedly. Um, and I think all around, I think it's a good deal. They do offer them, at least at my Walmart, in white and blue. Um, I just chose to get the blue. That way you can color code if you want to as far as what you're cleaning. So you know, don't use this on wheels, don't use this on engine, whatever. Um, you at least have two different colors to choose from. I don't know if they offer any more, but when I'm at my Walmart, it was just blue and white. But I think all around you guys, um, I would say this is definitely worth it for utility, especially if you're a mobile detailer. You can hang them on the door of your trailer and you can just pull one down, tear it off. You're good to go. I think that's, I think that's the best part of it is it doesn't take up a bunch of space. You don't have towels stacked up in a big space, you guys. I think that's the best part about it, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you think of these towels down in the description or down in the comments, you guys. Uh, I'd love to read those comments, and uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by, checking this video out. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you in the next video.